Yeah. Your toes tasted a day relief. You... <laughs> Again, it's something I insist on. You did several takes of that and you bit so hard. We just, just try and get a reaction out of it. Yeah, it we, you know, we did all that, and then after we read it, it just sort of pretended like it never happened. <laughs> That's trauma. Yeah. <laughs> it, back to your drama. I really liked it. Did you go on holiday with him? Uh, none of your business. <laughs> Maybe on the first day we were talking about holidays, he goes, oh, I went on a holiday with Greg, and he would just always bring it up. Yeah, he's always on about his <laughs> fantasy holidays. <laughs> we're like, oh, what are we having for lunch? Maybe Wagamama. He goes, oh, it reminds me of my holiday with Greg. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't happen. <clears throat> Such a nice, nice week by the sea. <laughs> we did have a week by the sea. It was nice, actually. Yeah. His pesky wife got in the way a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Stroke children. <laughs> Slash children. <laughs> Just to stay with Sue for a minute, how does it make you feel when uh, Alex tricks people into making an effort like opening a little trap door? I mean, violent. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Is it definitely my fault that she looked for a trap door? Yeah. Didn't you hide a trap door? No, we weren't expecting. Oh, that was one. just a bit of tape, was it? Yeah. Yeah, that's just. Oh, I thought it was one of your little. No, I was so happy when she thought that I'd hidden the trap door. <laughs> but I hadn't... what was really stupid was that I'd made no provision were there a trap door because I hadn't got the vase, so the whole thing was just gone <laughs> onto the floor. Yeah. yeah. So I can't and the liquid would have had to have travelled through a solid plate as well. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have no idea how bad I am at science. <laughs> and then uh, number five is a poem that I've written about the most wonderful person. Oh. It's you, Greg. <laughs> of course it is. Gandhi is <laughs> dead. And I did... I have written a lovely poem, but I have left it upstairs. Can I, you remember I, it? It went something along the lines of... Um, Hi, Greg. Hi. You are a dazzling tall glass of milk. You are creating joy for millions of people at home. You have a lovely face. Congratulations on your face. I'm sure everybody is proud of your face. Thank you for Taskmaster. Something along the... I didn't say... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say... That was a good poem. I didn't say it was good. I just said it was about the most wonderful person. You know, it's so lovely. It's such a lovely uh, ad hoc list of compliments. <laughs> yeah. And yet, all I can think is, why does she think I'm like a glass of milk? <laughs> You go, mm, a, mm. Oh, a nice cold glass of milk. Mm, ah, go, go, go. That's what, <laughs> that's what I think I am, about. I am quite refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the same person who plays Plucker every week? Um, oh, wow. I, I mean, yeah, I... Ooh. <laughs> No-one's ever asked the really probing questions before, have they? Yeah, I don't know, actually. I, never... I presume Plucker... It was a man in a, uh, or a woman in a suit, Plucker was. It, I guess so, yeah. It must have been so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They wouldn't have put a duck in the seat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wasn't like, oh, but how does it work? I was too just wrapped up in it, yeah. I wasn't like, oh, but who's the guy? You, you know what I mean? Fine. I wasn't like, oh, I wonder if this is a regular gig for someone. I was just like, you could win a car, man. You could win a Nissan Pulsar. <laughs> I mean, now I think about it, I don't know who was inside Mr Blobby. Do you? Um, you I do know? I, I do, actually, yeah, and he's still alive. I looked it up recently for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? He's, a, he's, a, he's an actor. Not a very successful actor. He's not one of the main ones. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's not Daniel Day-Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> this could be the, the big turnaround for you. I don't, you brought us. Uh, yes. Um, are you going to do the off? thingy? Yes, I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> you will not tap me. <laughs> You will not tap. What, how would you? How would you prefer I get your attention? Just with reverence. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I've come up with a brand new format slash game. It's called Greg and Alex. Here we go. I've got these. I don't Should think I put... anyone else has done this before. So there'll be some questions. You hold up, whether it's me or you, which you think the answer to. And we'll see how similar we think about things. OK. Yeah, you like the idea? <laughs> yes, I do uh, just contractually feel obliged to tell the audience that Alex plans these sections and I don't know what he's going to do. So, <laughs> when it's shit, you know who to blame. <laughs> Gotta be an if. 
Right. Um, <laughs> so it's like that for Greg, like that for Alex. Yep. You'll hear the questions, then we do it, and it'll be, it'll be great fun. OK. <laughs> yeah. OK, let's play uh, Greg welcome and Alex. Oh, welcome Alex to Alex and Greg. <laughs> welcome to Alex and Greg. Question one. Who is the best at cooking? At the same time. Sorry. <laughs> oh. oh, really? You, you, you think it'll be better doing it again? <laughs> Let's keep it all in. Here we go. Welcome, Welcome. to Alex and Greg. <laughs> Welcome to Alex and Greg. Question one. Who is the best at cooking? Oh, we both think it's you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who is the best dancer? <laughs> say that again. Say, say it again, Alex. Who is the best dancer? <laughs> oh, what we like. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the best at tidying up? <laughs> Who has the most trouble sleeping at night because of all the difficult thoughts racing through their head? <laughs> I don't mind this. I don't mind this. <laughs> Who struggles the most with the overwhelming burden of being a human? <laughs> <laughs> Who bought the other one a present? <laughs> I got you a present because of, <laughs> of your troubled brain, so I got you a little... Uh, Thank uh, you. A little necklace with two feathers on. Thanks. <laughs> You're so weird. Right. <laughs> You're such a weird player. End of the game. End of the game. You'll treasure that, won't you? You're so genuinely such an oddball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they think this is scripted and there's going to be a big punchline. That's the end of the section. <laughs> it's so weird. He's bought me a necklace with two feathers on it. <laughs> I thought it was your sort of thing. <laughs> oh, man. It's the weirdest friendship in my life. It's so <laughs> weird. Good. <laughs> Shall we get on with the next bit of the show, please? Mm -mm -mm. Let's do it, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I just think you're fueling the internet stuff about you and me. <laughs> A lot of it is me. Just to tap in. <laughs> I've read some of those stories. You are an imaginative boy, aren't you? <laughs> Daddy likes. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do that clip without me saying all the porn stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Should we get on with the next bit of the show, Alex? Yes, let's do it, Daddy. Oh, you horny... <laughs> <laughs> For the audience, so you know, you, you've come to a pretty weird episode. <laughs> <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now. <laughs>